Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video, and today comes courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. This is a bit of an early look at their upcoming, straight from their Mirage Comics TMNT line, Savanti Romero. Very cool, old school character, I will say, and he translates oh so well to an action figure. Now you do have brand new artwork all over the box from Kevin Eastman and on the back side of the box you get nice photos of course. To be continued we have Mikey the Wanderer and various foot soldiers which are out now and here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure so thank you very much for that. And here is the barcode for when he starts to hit store shelves. He is hitting comic book stores now but you should have this guy probably well before the end of the year. Now Savanti Romero, you say? I don't remember him from the cartoon. Well, no, he hails from the Mirage Comics line. One of the earlier adventures of the TMNT in NECA. I hope you make Cerebus. That would be amazing. But it involves Renette, the Timestress. And, of course, Lord Simultaneous and a whole bunch of Mishigash happens. And, basically, some Time Scepters uh, get a stolen by, of course, Savanti Romero, and Rene enlists the help of Cerebus and the TMNT to take this baddie down. It's a really cool story. Some of those earlier TMNT adventures, when they just go time traveling, it's always interesting. But of course, at the end, Lord Simultaneous shows up and puts an end to Savanti Romero, sends him back in the past to the old Cretaceous period. But, in the meantime... We're going to have an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, straight from NECA Toys, Eastman and Laird's TMNT Mirage Comics line, Savanti Romero. And while I got all you Lords simultaneous is here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like recreating those poses straight from the Mirage comic line. Now, here is everything taken out of the packaging. You get some nice accessories, you get one heck of a detailed sculpt, and you get a little stand for him as well. Take note of that. Now, the extra hands are very well done. Nice and chunky, very cool looking Savanti Romero hands, fisted hands, open hands, and of course, scepter holding hands, right? And they're all painted nicely. Nice little skin tone action going on, along with a green fire effect, energy effect. Grab one of the fisted hands, of course, and it simply just pops on, and you got a nice little effect magic piece to go on. Looks pretty cool. A little bit of a, a paint difference would have been nice, much like the Kirby Crackle effect. I love the way this looks, and every single bubble is painted front, and back and that is what i like to see along with a little notch right here which you can clearly see and that is where the scepter of the sands of time comes in a beautifully recreated accessory that is perfect for savanti romero it kind of looks like a monkey's paw right like the old simpsons episode right looks like a lot of things like he's holding a shampoo bottle with horns but you get the idea. It's very cool. And you go ahead and take that effect piece and it simply clips on. If you want to go front or back, it really doesn't matter. It looks good either way. But that is a perfect example of an energy effect piece just enhancing an accessory. Well done. Now, you do get a flat black stand, which definitely does come in handy when standing him up. He does have little goat leg hooves after all but the character himself just looks awesome that is a tremendous sculpt one that i fully expect now for anything naked toys does especially with their mirage comics line down to his little hooves which are very small and again that's where the stand comes in yada yada but great head portrait on this guy right very cool he's got the horns they're not bendy wire or anything like that but they are soft so they work with you when you want to rotate the head they just do such a good job with the paint they understand the the more graphic slash you want to say cell shading look it just looks great right from the yellows to the reds down to the fur, little elements of black, and of course the hooves, which when you want to stand him up, he can be kind of sort of back heavy, top heavy. You get the idea, so it's definitely handy. But with the head portrait, that 
is definitely cool. And like I said, the horns will work with you. They don't hinder the articulation when you want to move him around. And you definitely do get a lot of momentum and movement out of that for posing him around. Now, one thing I will nitpick is I would have preferred he had all white eyes. I do like the choice they've made. Don't get me wrong. It looks good either way. But just for the look of the comic, right? I would have preferred that. But I absolutely love that he has jaw articulation. I've been asking more for action figures that can move their jaws, like the Joker, right? That would be amazing. But you utilize the full head portrait. You don't have to have multiples. You get a lot of expressions out of that guy with a movable jaw, along with the usual, right? You can get his arms going all the way up. He, of course, has bicep swivel. Just be careful of the spikes on his arms. Those things are pretty sharp. Double jointed elbows and plenty of articulation in the wrists and everything else. But again, that the hair on his arms, that just looks so good. It's painted so well. He does have some upper diaphragm articulation, which works pretty well. You just have to realign it from time to time. And then he has a waist, which works pretty good. His legs will kick off to the side, kick up. The goat legs are interesting, right? They're very well done. He's got single jointed on the knees. And then let's see, he will twist at the knee. Let's see, does he rock? Does he have hoof rockers? Yes, it, it rocks a little bit, we'll say. It goes up, goes down, you can move it around. So you can get him posed in all sorts of Sorcerer Supreme standings. Now, with the turtles, with Renette, how does Savanti Romero stack up? Well, I have to say, he looks pretty darn cool. Now, in my head, and I had to go back and look at the comic, I thought Savanti was... A, a more of a smaller type creature. No, he's just spot on. He's right on the money. And what I love is that if you give him a flight stand, you can really get this guy a going. You get the green fire effect for his hand. You get the time scepter on the other. That just looks cool. When battling the Ninja Turtles and Renette, and like I said, now we just need old Cerebus to come in, right? Come on, Naked Toys. That would be awesome to see for our TMNT shelves. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Naked Toys Mirage Comics TMNT Savanti Romero. And again, thank you to everyone at Naked Toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video. It's a great looking figure, right? I hope you can all get him before Christmas would make for uh, an excellent Xmas gift, right? Should be out before then. But in the meantime, though, what a, a grand collection of Mirage characters we've gotten. Even just this year, right? It's been insane. One great one after another. Couple interesting choices with colors, right? It's kind of got a lot of things going. Black and white, color, this color, that color. Yeah, I get the idea. But there's a lot to collect. But when you hit a sweet spot like Savanti Romero... Uh, you can't go wrong. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mirage TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, Cerebus, we needs him. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.